Thanks for joining us for Ohio & Company. I'm Jeannie Hogan. Coming up, it's a year-long birthday bash for Ohio's capital city, and you're invited. See how the city of Columbus plans to celebrate turning 200 years old. Plus, you'll want to listen up as we find out why American Ears audiology services can help improve your quality of living. But first, Ohio's veterans are true heroes, and there's one organization that's making sure those heroes and their families are connected to the programs and benefits they deserve. Joining me from the Ohio Department of Veterans Services is Director Tom Moe. Thank you so much for being here today. It's good to be here, thank you. Let's talk about the mission of your department. What's the primary mission? It's, it's fairly simple and direct, and that's finding our veterans in the state and connecting them to their benefits. How many veterans are there in the state of Ohio? We have over 820,000, which ranks us sixth in the nation for the size of our veterans population. Quite large. It is. And your services are vital to them. Let's talk about the service because services, there are so many and everybody has different needs. They, they do, and the services vary widely. Um, first, I think it's important to mention that the services are generally delivered at the county level. And I really stress that because so many folks come to us and they say, where, where can I go to look into benefits I might receive? But the benefits uh, vary from medical benefits. We have soldiers surviving uh, severe injuries on the battlefield uh, to uh, pension and uh, financial assistance. And one of the most important things that we can offer uh, our veterans are the very generous GI Bill benefits and even jobs. Are you surprised at how many veterans don't come forward for benefits? It's really uh, astounding in many ways, although part of the problem, uh, or the challenge I should say, is communication. Doing what we're doing right now is very helpful in mm -hmm. connecting to our veterans. But there are many veterans who don't uh, think they need benefits, and they say, fine, let's have somebody else receive them, and that's great. But we kind of like them to come forward and let us tell them what mm -hmm. they might uh, have earned or not. Have you been able to change minds? Oh yes, I mm -hmm. think so. Uh, we, because we are in the process of actually helping each other when these veterans come forward. And uh, especially when we can describe to veterans that the benefits are far more than perhaps uh, taking care of a medical problem that, that many veterans don't have, fortunately. And in addition to aiding veterans, your organization also provides an economic stimulus to the state of Ohio. Can you explain that to us? The economic stimulus is really huge and it's real. The return on dollars spent by Ohio taxpayers, that is Ohio tax money, is on average 100 to 1. Now the money that comes back to us from Washington, it's our tax money too, sitting in Washington. And uh, last year, uh, for an expenditure of state money of about $52 million, including county money, mm -hmm. we received from the VA $5.2 billion, wow. going right into our economy. So that's vital to the state. It, it really is. So we're helping our veterans and we're helping our economy as well. And your department also administers the Ohio Veterans Bonus. What is yes. that? Over the years, the state has been very generous and supportive of its veterans. There have been vet, uh, bonuses for past wars. I received a bonus from my participation in the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. And uh, most recently, the Afghan and uh, Iraqi War veterans qualify for a bonus if they're residents of the state whether they served in combat or not is beside the point. And uh, the bonus money, which can be quite generous, uh, is not taxable, either by state or federal taxes. So if the veteran comes to our website, uh, dvs.ohio.gov, uh, they can find a link to the bonus for all the details. You're a veteran and you can relate to these people. How important is that when you're talking to them? I think there's a matter of uh, confidence mm -hmm. and, uh, and mutual respect that those of us in veteran services are all veterans. My, my senior staff are not only veterans, they're all combat veterans as well. Wow, so that's important and, and these veterans don't realize that they really do have benefits that are there for them. They do. You run two veterans homes. Let's talk about those for a second. Where are they located and how do you help veterans there? You know, the, the homes are two really big feathers in our caps because uh, they are run very successfully. They uphold uh, the finest traditions of this state and uh, they pass every inspection with flying colors, the most important of which is the inspections of our residents who live there. We have one in uh, Sandusky that dates back from the days of the Civil War. And lest anyone think that the equipment dates back to the Civil War, it's a very modern, beautiful mm -hmm. facility. And our newest facility, about 10 years old, is near Cincinnati in Georgetown. So how do veterans feel who live there? How do they 
love it, enjoy it? What would you say? They're, they're quite satisfied. Mm -hmm. I was just up in Sandusky yesterday visiting our home there. Uh, I've made many visits to both homes. And uh, they're, uh, the, the care is good. It's appreciated. And, and I believe that everybody's pretty happy uh, since they're only there because they have to be. Uh, since they're there, they're quite pleased with the service. Let's talk about how you help veterans get jobs after their tour of duty. This is so critical because uh, for a number of reasons, uh, unemployment among veterans is above the national average. Uh, there might be a couple, uh, certainly several reasons for that. One of which uh, that we have to work with the employers is that uh, with our current volunteer force, we have people serving on active duty, coming back to reserve or guard status, serving again. My own chief counsel is on active duty in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is one of the main reasons that employers might be hesitant to hire a veteran. And we want to encourage them to put that aside. These are, these are well-trained, disciplined people. So uh, if a veteran were to go to our website uh, or to Ohio means uh, veterans jobs, uh, they can find out a number of uh, links to jobs plus a new uh, incentive that we're providing, working with the governor's staff and multiple agencies, we want to link veterans directly to jobs. So important to know that you're here to help. Thank you. Tom Moe, thanks so much for joining us it's today. It's a pleasure. And if you would like to find out more about the Department of Veteran Services, click over to dvs.ohio.gov. Up next, it's all eyes and ears on audiology when Ohio & Company continues. Stay with us.